King Charles III and Queen Camilla have landed in Sydney, Australia, graced by a vibrant light show that celebrated their royal lineage. As a Royal Australian Air Force aircraft touched down amidst the lingering scent of rain, a sense of anticipation enveloped the atmosphere, marking the King's first visit since ascending the throne in September 2022. The city's skyline shimmered with memories from past royal visits, as the Sydney Opera House became a radiant canvas displaying images of family journeys. Yet the view of this illuminated masterpiece was briefly obscured by the Grand Cruise ship, Queen Elizabeth, which had faced delays due to the earlier downpour. Under the gentle drizzle, Queen Camilla, clutching an umbrella, radiated elegance adorned with a cherished brooch once gifted by the late Queen Elizabeth II during her own Commonwealth tour in 1954. Her warm reception included bouquets of flowers from young admirers, showcasing the royal couple's connection with the Australian public. Following this heartfelt welcome, the King and Queen proceeded to Admiralty House, the Governor General's official residence, for a crucial meeting with the Prime Minister. This day of rest, free from evening engagements, marked a notable shift in the royal tour's conventional protocols, providing the couple time to settle into their surroundings before embarking on six days of engagements, including supporting environmental initiatives and connecting with local communities. Their itinerary will highlight King Charles's long-standing ties with Australia, as he has previously visited 17 times, weaving a rich tapestry of shared history. Yet whispers of a budding Republican movement have surfaced in the backdrop of the festivities, reigniting conversations about Australia's future governance. Supporters have labeled this trip a farewell tour, while loyalists express disappointment that six state premiers have opted out of the official reception in Canberra, triggering debate across the nation. As the royal couple immerses themselves in Australia's diverse cultures and traditions, Buckingham Palace and the Australian Republic movement engage in a dialogue that underscores the gravity of a potential constitutional shift. Ultimately, the power to decide the nation's status remains in the hands of the Australian people, echoing a profound legacy of choice as King Charles III and Queen Camilla's visit unfolds, intertwining regal presence with the pulse of modern Australia.